Welcome back to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt Troutman. Genius Lounge is a place where you can learn about the technology that you already have. So today we're gonna to go ahead and continue our series on Clutter Free. We've partnered with Kathy Lip and the Clutter Free Academy to help bring you some guides to help declutter your digital life. Today, we're gonna to look at our photos and take a look at how to organize those with facial recognition and object recognition in our photos that happens right there on your phone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna open up photos. So in here, I'm in my photos tab and I've got 238 photos in my photo library. Now over here in the lower right corner, I'm going to go ahead and tap albums. And one thing that you'll notice here is that I've got an album of all of my photos. I see people, selfies, places. What I'm most interested here is people. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. And in here, you'll see that it has surfaced three individuals that appear in the majority of my photos. And that just happens to be me, my son, and my wife. And when I select one of these people, I'm gonna select my son here, I can give it a name. And I'll go ahead and press next. And it says this person is now named Truett. And it will show me a nice little slideshow here at the top. It will also surface some other photos that it thinks are key photos for Truett. And down here at the bottom, this is an important one, I can confirm additional photos. If you scroll all the way to the bottom and I tap confirm additional photos, it's going to bring up other photos that it thinks is Truett. So this differs greatly from Google Photos. Google Photos goes ahead and groups somebody if it thinks it might be that person, whereas Apple will not group them unless you confirm and give consent to group those people together. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it, yes, this is Truett. And it says I've added three pictures of Truett. So it looks like there were only three pictures that it was unsure of. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on my photo there. It's not quite so sure on some of the pictures that it has of me. And so it says there are additional photos for you to review right here at the top. I'm gonna to go ahead and tap that. And it says this person over here, which I have a group for, and the original person that you were looking at might be the same person. Can you confirm that for us? And it's already got it checked because it's pretty sure, but it doesn't want to make assumptions. I'm gonna go ahead and press done, and it's gonna merge those two people together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my name. press done, and it will surface those pictures that it thinks are me. You'll notice that there are only three people in this set of photos. I know that I have some other photos that have other people in them. If your phone has tagged a person in a photo, but there's not enough of a group of them that it can correctly identify them, it does not show them in the people album. So what we're gonna do is we're going to tag my father in a photo here real quick. So I'm gonna tap on this photo here, and then if I swipe up, I see that it shows the highlighted pictures of those people. I'm gonna tap on my dad right there, and I'm gonna tell it add name. My dad's name is Stuart, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell it done. Now the other cool thing that you can do with photos is you can search for items in your photos. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna search for a tree in some of my photos. And you'll notice these photos that have popped up here, they do have a tree in the background. Or let's search for water. And this just happens to be a picture of me snorkeling, so it definitely has water in it. So that's a quick overview of how to tag people in your photos, search for people, and then also search for other objects in your photos. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notifications each time we post a new video. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matt Troutman. We'll see you next time on Genius Lounge.